What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we have a lot to talk about. Um, I'm going to be talking about this Alex Jones stuff. Uh, Trump's name is going to come into this. Some other things are going to be brought up. So if you're not interested in hearing all of that, um, I, uh, I understand and uh, you know, it's time for you to click off the video right now. I, I appreciate it and um, you guys have a great day. Okay, so uh, I've been asked uh, a lot about this Alex Jones situation. I covered it on a couple of live streams when it was when I was asked about it. Um, obviously, everyone is talking about this, so I want to uh, I want to dive a little deeper into it. So um, I'm not an Alex Jones fan. Uh, I never watched a full episode of Alex, an Alex Jones uh, show on Infowars. Um, I don't know much about the other guy um, that, that has a big following on on Infowars. Um, I know a lot of people do, and that's cool. I respect your right to have that opinion. Um, I think Alex Jones is hilarious. I've laughed at a lot of his stuff. There's a lot of videos thrown together of a lot of his uh, crazy stuff that he says, and I think it's hilarious. Um, now, I don't know this to be fact. Um, I'm speculating here. I think Alex Jones is um, like an actor, uh, a character, character, however you want to word it. Um, I think he's got a lot of professional wrestling elements to what he's doing. I think he's probably taking... Uh, what is perceived to be a crazy right-wing nut job, and he's monetized that, which is great. More power to him. Um, I don't believe that he is uh, anything remotely close to what he portrays on camera. Um, and um, I, I believe if you go back, uh, there was a, a, a law a lawsuit or a, maybe a divorce case. Hell, I can't remember uh, where his attorney or ex-wife's attorney or somebody, you know went on record saying that he's like a performance artist, uh, which is something I've always believed. So um, in that case, if that's to be true, which I believe it to be true, I'm sure there are people out there that like Alex Jones that will disagree with me, and that's cool. If that's the case, then what's different from that versus Saturday Night Live or a movie or anything like that, yet he's being silenced? Uh, that's crazy to me, but it is what it is. I'm sure Alex Jones is actually getting exactly what he wants right now, um, I don't know that for a fact, but that's my opinion. I think he's probably gotten what he wants. But um, you look at the precedent that is being set by four major tech companies with Apple, with uh, YouTube, which is actually Google, uh, with Spotify and Facebook. These are massive companies, and they have all, it seems, conspired together to eliminate this guy from all of their platforms. Do they have the right to do that as private companies? Absolutely. They have every single right to do that. There's nothing illegal about it. Um, whatsoever. Uh, it's their right, uh, what, who they have on their platform. Nothing wrong with that in that respect. Um, but what's, what's, what really worries me is that they're so vague about what is hate speech and there really doesn't seem to be any strict guidelines or definitive guidelines, uh, that you can actually look at and go, oh, okay, if I do this, I'm banned. But if I don't do that, I'm good. Um, I mean, it just it just seems very vague, and it seems like they're the arbiter of what hate speech is, but we don't know what it is. So how can we follow rules if you don't want to tell us what these rules are? Um, and it seems like it's whatever they want to deem as hate speech. So um, that's the biggest problem for me. Again, their company, they are private companies. They can do with whatever they want to do, and that's their right. But... It just seems like as a huge tech company, you should be held accountable for some of these decisions when you are branding someone using hate speech. You need to be very clear in your definition of what hate speech is. And if you are going to hold Alex Jones accountable for that, then you should also be holding everyone else accountable regardless of their political affiliation or their social uh, affiliation and things like that. And we're not seeing that. And that's what bothers me about it is there's no consistency. This seems like an attack on people that are on the Trump side of the aisle. That's what it seems like. And it seems like they are really worried about Trump. They're paranoid at this point and they don't know what to do. That's what it feels like to me. That's what it seems like to me. You look at what Trump's doing right now, I, regardless if you love the man or hate the man, if you are looking at this objectively, the man is doing a great job with a lot of elements in this country. The economy is great. Jobs are just ridiculous right now. The country is more secure. Our standing in the world is better. 
Uh, it, there's so many things that are positive, and I'm not trying to get into a lot of political talking points here because I don't like doing this, this on this channel, but it directly ties into what's going on. And look, regardless if you like Alex Jones or not, I think everyone should be concerned with what's going on right here. Um, everyone. And there's a lot of people that aren't. There's a lot of people that are just celebrating this because, yay, Alex Jones is done because he's a crazy lunatic, conservative, right-wing nut job, a Nazi, and he needs to be silenced. This sets a really dangerous precedent moving forward for everybody, for everybody on every platform, no matter what you are saying, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you lay on the political landscape right now. Now, it seems to be a lot more dangerous for a particular side of the political landscape. But it sets a terrible precedent for all of us. That's what the big concern should be. This is bigger than Alex Jones. This is bigger than your hate of Alex Jones. This Alex Jones is irrelevant right now because this is bigger than him. This is about uh, holding these tech companies uh, accountable for their actions by saying, draw us a clear definitive line. And if it's not okay for Alex Jones to, uh, you know, have the hate speech that you've deemed that's hate speech, then it shouldn't be okay for someone like Sarah Zhang to say the things she said, which is what Candace Owens exposed yesterday, and it was beautiful, by taking Sarah Zhang's tweets that were really racist and what would be deemed hate speech by Twitter and Facebook and Google's standards and Facebook standards, and then Candace Owens took those tweets and just replaced white with Jewish and black. And then Candace Owens, a black conservative, was banned from Twitter temporarily because it was a glitch in the system. And she just exposed the crap that's going on. And so it does concern me. It's very concerning and it should concern everyone. Now, do I feel sorry for Alex Jones as an individual? No, I don't. I don't care about Alex Jones. But... I do think he's been done wrong because there is no clear definition of the rules that they are saying that he broke and no one else seems to be held accountable for that, uh, for these same rules. And that bothers me. So uh, there's a lot going on here. Then you have to move into this whole Trump Hollywood star has been removed from the walk of fame. Um, or at least there's been a, a, you know, legislation passed where they're going to remove it. And again, so we're basically just rewarding criminal behavior. Is that what we're doing? Oh, you're going to you're going to break the law, destroy public property. So what are we going to do? We're going to react and we're going to do exactly what you want. Sets a terrible precedent. I mean, I just there's so many bad things going on right now um, in terms of setting really scary precedents. And I don't know what's going to what's going to get us to the point where this changes. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very concerned about it. Um, I'm not concerned for me as an individual right now, but in the long run, I'm, I'm definitely concerned about the precedent that it sets. And, um, I would like for these companies to give us definitive lines. It is absolutely their right to remove Alex Jones. Absolutely. Um, I mean, look, I don't know how many subs they had. I'm sure they had like a million subs. That's a lot of revenue, man. That's a lot of revenue that he generated. And again, do I care specifically to Alex Jones? No, but I do care that a content creator worked their ass off to gain a following. That following uh, really enjoyed the content that that person was providing. And now because of these vague outlines of what is or isn't hate speech, now that entire platform has disappeared. That's a problem. And I don't know any logical thinking person that that shouldn't concern. That should concern everyone, no matter if you love Trump or hate Trump, no matter if you're a Democrat, Republican, liberal, or conservative, that should concern everyone. Um, and I think that's where the disconnect is right now because there's so many people that are celebrating this Alex Jones situation and they're not thinking about the impact of the Alex Jones situation. And that is where the problem lies. So I... Uh, I've got more thoughts on it right now, but I wanted to just uh, elaborate a little bit. There's so much craziness going on right now. So um, I will have more thoughts. I will probably live stream a little bit later. You guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.